soon. Neighbors say that's him, 18-year-old Zaire Crumbly, seen on surveillance video walking out of the same apartment building where his 16-year-old girlfriend, Sanaya Lawrence, was found Definitely stabbed a son in walked. inside a first-floor apartment. You can see him looking over his shoulder at one point. Minutes later, you see police arriving to this apartment building near West 135th Street. <laughs> he's just walking out. With, he's got a ski mask on. He just, you know, I mean, like, this is typical. I mean, nothing, nothing, nothing odd about, you know, seeing the sun man walking down the street with a ski mask looking over his shoulder. Looking over his shoulder at one point. Minutes later, you see police arriving to this apartment building near West 135th Street and Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard in Harlem. Um, it was just before 6 Sunday evening. This neighbor, who does not want to appear on camera, tells us the apartment was a troubled spot. She would often hear arguing, but never expected this. I always had concern about... I would often hear arguing with some people, but never expected someone to stand. Not fit for leadership, man. Not fit to run anything that's crim criminal justice oriented. Yes. I always had concern about what was going on in that apartment. It definitely made me fearful for who was in the apartment. So to hear that, you know, someone lost their life, it definitely makes me sad. Lawrence died at the hospital. Police say Crumbly is now on the run. Sources working the case tell Pixel Look at them beady eyes, man. The stone cold killer. Yeah, he looked like a, he. That person looks crazy. Yeah, hard. He looked like he's hard. Like he's a little hard rock and shit. Little, little, little fucking sun man. Like you know, from the hood, 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 hood booger. Evan News. He's no stranger to police. They say Crumbly has a violent criminal history, and that the couple also had a history of domestic violence. This woman arrived to the scene emotional. She says she's a social worker and that she tried to help Crumbly, also tried to help Lawrence. I tried to help him get his life together. I, was, I tried. I failed. <laughs> the, every, you fail at everything. You never get it right. <laughs> you never get it right. I mean, the fucking police chief, the fucking mayor, it doesn't matter. You can't... You, Listen, man, the kitchen, man. Let's bring back the kitchen, man. You know what I'm saying? The make, make the kitchen great again. <laughs> make the kitchen great again, man. I mean, like, they just... Instead of, instead, of, in, instead of back to the future, it's back to the kitchen. Right? I don't think they want to do this. I think they're being forced to do this shit. I think they're just stepping up to the plate, like all this equity and diversity and um, feminism and all this stuff has thrust them into this role, and they're just stepping up to the plate. But this, they're not fit for these roles. That we're not saying for anything. I'm not saying for anything. Yes, there's certain roles that they do very well. School teachers, I mean, they're amazing school teachers. Um, you know, um, I would have to like challenge that. that. I would have to challenge that these days. May at one point they were amazing, yeah. Uh, you know what I mean, though. Yeah, yes, I know, yes, I know, what you're saying, yes. but you, but in general, you know, what I'm saying? everybody's suffering from wokeness now, but every profession suffers from that now. But in general, you know, what I'm saying, as, as school teachers, um, they obviously don't do well as social workers probation officers they used to do well but i mean they woke now but i mean there's certain things that you know they, they do well man um subway security <laughs> making sandwiches <laughs> i'm still waiting on some female nfl players i'm kind of pissed that hasn't happened yet oh one tried out for a kicker but did you see that no, I want, I want, I want female. Oh my God. Line, I want female <laughs> linebackers. That that NFL well, kicker was, tryout was the greatest was thing ever recorded. She was Vanderbilt, right? No, no, she was. That was college. She was. A, she was the kicker for Vanderbilt University. I want That's female true. slot receivers. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh my god! And they're running. They're running nothing but slant routes and mesh routes. Yup, nothing. Yeah, slants and ends and shit. Yup, go right over the nothing. middle every fucking. Yeah, I want you over the middle every fucking play. Yeah, this this girl, um, Sarah Fuller. That's her name. She was the. <laughs> I'll show y'all that in a minute. Hold on. She she. Tra- this is two years ago. She, she was ran. trash, dude. Yo, this is. I failed you. I failed you. To all of y'all young girls out there right now, domestic violence is real. It's killing. This young girl lost her life, 16 years old, because she just thought it was a game. And he won't hurt me again. And in the end, he took her life. Losing Lawrence is not only hard for her family, but hard for the community as well, especially with Crumbly still out there. NYPD clergy liaison chaplain Robert Rice is praying for the family and sends this message to Crumbly. To this young man, if you're out there, please turn yourself in. Turn yourself in and get the help that you need. And get the help that you need. These are the I'm people released, like released the next day on on fucking bail. We can, like we these, can read him some Bible. If they saw a fucking video of some fucking white lady going bonkers on a black cashier. They, you know, it's the, that would be the most evil person on the fo- face of the planet. But they, they, they don't have they don't have the eyes to see that this guy's the evil scumbag. The help that he needs is a Remington. Yeah. These people are. That's why I tell you guys, I, I'm not seeing a way out of this. At one point, I was hopeful. I ain't even gonna lie. Like not too long ago, I was I was real. But I, I said, "There's a path. It's a windy path. <laughs> it is a hard, bumpy path." But it was a path out of this. Um, maybe a couple of years ago, but I, there's plenty of real solutions. It's just that we live in such a bitch ass, watered down society that nobody wants. Nobody's got the balls to do the real solutions no more. So. Police need your help on this. If you have any information on Crumbly's whereabouts, call Crime Stoppers. The number's right there. It's 800 <laughs> Call this number so we can do nothing. 